Hey guys, welcome to 334 Tactical Outdoors. Today I'm out here to do another review and stability test and today it's going to be on the Ascend 133X uh, tournament fishing kayak. Uh, I'm going to go over bow to stern, put it out here in the water, uh, do a full stability test on it from bow to stern also. So uh, as always, if you find the video helpful, leave me a like. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate everything. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. All right, guys, let's start with the full specifications of this kayak. This kayak is 13 foot long. It's 36 and a half inches wide. It is 15 inches tall. It weighs 125 pounds, so it's pretty heavy. Uh, starting up here on the bow, you have two molded in handles. You have a bow mount trolling motor plate that's pre-installed. You have these non-skid uh, flooring up on the bow. You also have an uh, a SAE uh, accessory plug. You also have your bow mount trolling motor plug. Uh, now these plugs and the wiring run for your trolling motor that goes back to your battery is 10 gauge wire. I pulled this plug out and looked, so it is 10 gauge wire. Uh, you might want to upgrade this to eight gauge wire. Uh, that's just my opinion, but uh, if your wire, if it does start to overheat, you're gonna need to replace the plugs and the wire and get it down to at least eight gauge. You do have this nice little uh, cover plate that you can remove to access your bow you have a through hole scupper for your transducer uh, i'll flip it over and show you the bottom side it is a they they did a really nice job on making the uh transducer mount down there large enough to fit most of today's uh transducers especially with the side view it has a huge tank well for the bow uh video just does not give it justice of how how big this tank well actually is it is really a nice deep deck inside here now this thing has this is your through hole scupper it does have nine scupper holes uh they do send your scuppers with this kayak so you don't have to purchase any you have this nice uh dry tank inside here uh, if you pull it out this is inside the kayak it does have you the yak power here as you can see uh, hook it up to a battery inside here and you get four accessory plugs this is your act uh, your yak power for your power this is for your bow uh, your stern uh, and you have a couple other accessories on it uh, so this is a nice yak power system that they have in here as you can see they did run your wire down through this PVC pipe so all your wire is run down through there get this box back in. it does have nice waterproof sealant as you can see here that goes around the box You have these nice adjustable foot wrist. They do come all the way off. They're easy to get off and easy to get back on. Now this kayak does have four of these 16 inch track rails. Now these track rails are a little ways up from your seat there, uh, but they do come with four. You got two here in the front you have two back there in the back you do have some more of this nice cushion uh, deck flooring in here 
Now on the seat, they did a good job on this seat. Uh, it's really comfortable. Uh, it's nice and soft. You have two seat levels. I have it in the high seat level now. It does come with a tray. If you want to take it down to the low seat level, which is... Hang on, guys. If you want to take it down to the low seating position, you can't put your tray underneath the seat if you got it in the low seating position, but that is the low seating position. If you want to go back to the high seating position, you can go back to the high seating position and you can use your tray. Let me show you what all they send you. This is everything you get with this kayak. You get nine scupper plugs. You get your uh, your bungee for putting back in your uh, stern tank wheel. This is a uh, for a trolling motor. You get the uh, release handle. They also give you a handle for controlling the trolling motor when it drops down. You get an extra uh, SAE connector. You also get the battery connector for the yak power. They also give you both of the trolling motor plugs. It does come with a 50 amp uh, relay that's already pre-wired. So that's everything you get with this kayak uh, that you don't have to purchase. You have two handles that are screwed in. So you do have two side handles. For this kayak you do have this nice uh, molded in rod holder on both sides you have this nice big accessory area for laying your tools or your small tackle trays you have two molded in cup holders on each side you have two flush mount rod holders one on each side now this is your trolling motor battery control here you plug in here you set your battery box here and uh that's where you would run this to your battery plug in that gives you your power to your trolling motor you have this large tank wheel this tank wheel is super huge i put my fish i put my fish uh crate in here and it makes my fish crate look small you do have another cover plate for accessing your stern tank. Uh, it's already got a mount here for mounting your uh, micro power pole or a stern mount trolling motor. Underneath the seat here, it does have another cover plate for accessing uh, inside the hull of the kayak. Here's your other track rails. You have these other two. 16 inch track rails you do have another accessory plug here for mounting a rear light or uh, powering your micro power pole you do have two more molded in tank uh molded in carry handles it also has a screw in drain plug on the rear now i'm gonna flip it over and you can see this more but uh it does have these skid plates uh, it has two on the rear and one on the front uh, it has the catamaran style hull which I'll show you that I'm fixing to flip the kayak over for you and show you the bottom side of it let me give you a full overview of the kayak here let me uh, let me take it off flip it over and I'll show you the bottom side of this kayak all right, guys, this is the bottom side of the Ascend 133X. You have a skid plate up here on the bow. Uh, this is your transducer mount, and like I said, this is a big transducer mount. It gives you plenty of room for today's transducers uh, being so large. It does have this catamaran-style hull 
Uh, they help with stability. Give you the full overview. There's all your scupper holes. Here's your two skid plates on the rear. The way to back the stern looks with your drain plug. And like I said, this kayak is 15 inches tall, so. Well, that's it, guys. I'm gonna take it out here and put it in the water. Uh, see how, what kind of stability it's got and give it a nice stability test. So uh, let me get it down here in the water and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is gonna be the on the water review of the Ascend 133X tournament fishing kayak. Uh, we're gonna do a stability test and test the tracking on this kayak and uh, just go over all the details on the water uh, that you can get. So let me uh, let me go ahead and Ooh, wow. I like this hole design. It does, it is super stable. It is pretty nice. Let's paddle it around standing up and see what it's like. it back into the other camera here and see what it's like yeah. it's pretty stable let's see what it's like when you move from the seating position this is standing at the bow. It does pick the stern up a little bit, but it isn't that bad. Let's go back here to the stern. Yeah. This is standing in the stern tank wheel. Let's paddle it back forward some. Standing in the stern tank well, it's still pretty stable. Get back in the center here. Alrighty. Let's go paddle around and see how this thing paddles around. Get the camera up here so there we go. This thing tracks out well. To be such a wide, big kayak. Let's turn it around. It does paddle out pretty nice. That's some good speed. Easy to stand on. It's pretty nice. Let's get turned back around here. Stream hanging from a tree out here. All right, I'm back in this camera view. I'm gonna uh, remove the tray. This is the high seating position on this kayak, so I'm gonna remove the tray and take this down to the low seating position. Set the tray back 
there. Now I'm going to take this thing down to the low seating position. Let me back back up a little bit. Now this is the low seating position of this kayak. Uh, has plenty of room for your feet. Oh yeah. Love where it sits in the water. When sitting in the seat, Pretty nice. Running around here. I'm standing up from the low seating position. Still easy to stand up even from the low seating position. Hmm. It's pretty nice. Still easy on the knees. Now guys, I am, I'm 5'11", I weigh 155 pounds, so uh, I'm still a small build guy, but the stability of this kayak is pretty good. So I'm gonna give it a a good stability test because it is super stable uh, I don't know uh, I don't see no issues issues with stability of this kayak I mean I actually I like this whole design. I like the way it takes and that's pretty nice. Well guys, that's going to conclude the video on the review and stability test. I hope you enjoyed what you see and uh, I appreciate you watching to the end. So thanks guys.